I'm Candace Austin. And I'm Spencer Austin. And this is our big fat, enormous honeymoon. What is this, the first leg of a very long journey? It is indeed. Our epic year or so long journey will take us all the way through the Americas. But before we run off on a honeymoon, you've got to have a wedding. So we decided to get married in Africa. We met in the African bush five years ago. So we're better to tie the knot. And while we're at it, we thought we'd show the family some of our favorite things to do in the bush. If you fly into Johannesburg, hire a car and drive west for five hours, you'll find a magical place on the southern border of Kruger National Park. It's called Marloth Park. Careful, mind, mind the camera, mind the camera. Ooh, ooh. Mind. This oasis offers bush living without the risk of predators eating your face off. This is where we got married. The real unique thing about Marloth is that the wild animals approach the houses for food. Look at the tusks on that big boy. boy. I love him. The warthogs are handsome, skittish idiots who get scared by literally nothing. And they like to get down on their knees for food. It's super weird seeing zebras so close up. Especially when their big rubbery lips slime you. They also have horrible dentistry, awful breath and issues with gas. You absolutely stink. Majestic antelope, the kudus also come to visit. You can buy lucerne grass for them at the local store in Marla. Um, not sure you should be drinking that, you nutter. Giraffe also swing by. But our favourite are the psychotic banded mongooses. Especially one little fella who feared literally no one or nothing. <laughs> even resident bush babies living in the thatches of the houses. But if you miss the big five... <laughs> the gates of Kruger are a half an hour drive from Marlow. For just 280 rand, you can drive yourself in and see some of the most amazing wildlife anywhere in the world. As long as you don't get out of the car and be respectful of the elephants, which really scare me, when it's perfectly safe. Explore the dirt roads and get away from the occasional gridlock at sightings. And it's just you and the animals. <laughs> Note though, it's not a zoo and you do have to search for the animals. Driving from the bottom of Kruger up north towards the Drakensberg Mountains, you'll follow the panorama route. Heading north, you'll hit God's Window, Waterfalls, the Blyde Canyon, the Three Rondevals. Take your time and hope for a nice, clear day. Further north, near the town of Hoodspray, you can visit the world-famous Jessica Hippo and the couple who adopted her in 2000 after she was washed up as a baby in the floods. Just arrive at their house and for 75 rands, Tony and Shirley Jubert, Jobert, Jubert, 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 will give you a talk about Jessica before inviting you to feed her, put your feet on her and give her a big fat kiss. It's a unique, weird, slightly slimy experience. Most game lodges can organise a morning walk in the bush. But at Shikudu, it's a bit different. You may be joined by this young lady. Tombi is a free-roaming cheetah who was raised at the lodge. She can go wherever she wants, but she just loves being around people. Purrin and Tombi likes to follow the walks. And you never know, if you encounter an antelope and she happens to be hungry... And Tombi has two brothers in the area too. But she doesn't get on with them, so hopefully they don't run into each other. Visit us at 360honeymoon.com for all the latest on our journey.